Hey everyone, welcome back to Everyday EV and another debunking common electric vehicle misconception video. Today we are focusing on debunking the common misconception that electric vehicle battery packs have to be replaced or thrown out after two to three years of driving usage. And once again, this video series is sponsored by our sponsor, Recurrent, who is kind enough to provide battery usage data for the vehicle that we're talking about specifically in this video, which is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. But before we dive into the data, let's talk about initially why you shouldn't worry about battery packs dying after about two to three years. Yeah, so battery packs are very common nowadays from the device you were watching this video on to the toothbrush that's in your bathroom and then to the electric car that is in your driveway. However, the big difference is with electric cars, they actually have the technology to maintain that battery health and lifespan for a lot longer than your device or that toothbrush. But don't worry, as long as you have the battery warranty, which we will talk about in a little bit, then you're gonna be covered for the lifespan of that car. So what's so great about Hyundai's products, specifically or their battery electric vehicles and the Hyundai Ioniq 5, is that they offer an industry-leading factory warranty for battery packs of 10 years or 100,000 miles or whatever comes first with a guarantee of 60% battery retention or if you hit that number, they will replace the battery pack for you covered under that battery warranty. Yep. So unlike the other vehicles covered in this common misconception video series, the other ones had an average about eight years and about 100,000 miles. So what's so great about the Hyundai Ioniq 5 is that you do get an extra two years on that factory battery warranty. So. Unlike similar to the common misconception of battery packs dying in about two to three years, even if you do have battery issues, the factory warranty should cover that. So now let's talk about the average warranties for gas combustion engines, as well as some of the costs that go into replacing those engines. Yeah, so based on our research, on average, your typical powertrain warranty that covers your engine and transmission is only gonna last five years and 60,000 miles. So in this case with the Hyundai Ioniq 5, that basically is half for a gas engine. Yeah. So what that means is what we also found too is for your basic motor, just your simple basic motor is about three to $5,000 for the engine alone. That's not going to include labor, extra parts, or fluids that you're going to need to put back in that motor to get back on the road. However, with today's technology, because of how complicated cars have become, we're seeing an average of ten to twenty thousand dollars for those turbocharged engines, the hybrid setup, the electrified combustion engine setups as well. So it really just depends, but it just goes to show that those warranties won't last as long as your battery warranties. So now at this point, you might be wondering how much does it cost to replace the battery pack of an Ionic 5 if it is outside of the factory warranty window? So just to be realistic, the Ionic 5 is brand new to the market. So we didn't find any data of how much it costs to replace that battery pack. However, we did find a vehicle that Hyundai has produced for a few years now, which is the Kona EV and how much it costs to replace the battery pack of that electric vehicle. Right now for the Kona EV, you're looking at about $15,000 to replace the battery pack once it's outside of that factory warranty. And that's because the battery pack has to come directly from Korea. Mm -hmm. So if we look at how big the battery pack is of the Ionic 5 compared to the Kona EV, we're gonna estimate that the battery pack of the Ionic 5 will cost about $18,000. And now that's today's pricing and as technology costs goes down for battery packs as well as different manufacturing plants open for the Ionic 5 and other Hyundai EVs, that number could change as well. So now let's dive into the reports that our sponsor Recurrent has sent us of the Hyundai Ionic 5. So here we have the recurrent report for the 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5 long range all wheel drive. And as we mentioned earlier in this video, the Hyundai Ionic 5 is a brand new electric vehicle to the market. So at this moment, recurrent does have multiple Ionic 5s within their fleet uh, that they're continuously monitoring their battery health for any degradation. Uh, so just bear in mind as we go through this that that vehicle is brand new. Um, so for this example, this vehicle is located in Baltimore, Maryland, has less than 2,000 miles, and so far, Recurrent has collected 65 data points for the month of April, and this driver is averaging about uh, 39 miles daily and is charging their vehicles within the green zone of 26 to 82%, which is really where you want to maintain a state of charge for healthy battery life uh, on the daily. And as mentioned, you can charge to 100%, but it's really recommended to keep it around 80% 
daily. And then what's cool about this is that this example is on the East Coast where it tends to be a little bit hotter and a little bit more humid. And you can see that the battery management systems are really maintaining a healthy battery for the Ionic 5. So let's move down to range insights. So right now, since this vehicle has less than 2,000 miles, we're really still seeing um, above the EPA uh, rated range. We're seeing over 290 miles and upwards of 300, which is really great. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see as we go and the temperatures get colder and hotter to see how the range impact or the exterior temperature impacts the range. But right now we are seeing really good range for this Ionic 5. And then we'll move down to the charging insights. And now this is really where uh, Recurrent shines with their reporting. As you can see, it does monitor throughout the month as you are charging your vehicle and it will pinpoint the exact state of charge that you started at and where the state of charge you stopped at and how many times you are charging your vehicle. And as mentioned, you wanna keep it within that green zone to keep your battery nice and healthy. Um, but if you do charge 100%, that's okay. But this really shows that this Ionic 5 driver is keeping their vehicle within that 20% to 80% state of charge. So that's great. And now we'll move to the historical insights of this recurrent report. Um, as mentioned, this vehicle has less than 2,000 miles, so it really is a brand new vehicle. But as Recurrent continues to monitor their fleet of Hyundai Ionic 5 vehicles, we're going to see this vehicle compared to these other vehicles within the fleet. And then we could see how the similar range data compares to these other vehicles and whether or not this specific vehicle has a healthy battery or if we are starting to see some degradation. But as of right now, this vehicle has plenty of battery warranty remaining, uh, both in the years as well as mileage. So it's safe to say if anything does happen within that 10 year warranty, Hyundai will replace the battery or at least repair it. So anyways, everyone, that's gonna be it for another debunking common electric vehicle misconception videos. We wanna thank our sponsor Recurrent for providing their battery data usage reports to provide accurate information to you guys to debunk the common misconception that EV battery packs have to be replaced after two to three years. We hope this video provided accurate information to you guys and showed you that the battery pack will last you a lot longer than you may think. And if you have any issues, that's what that factory warranty is for. So for some really exciting news, we have officially launched our website. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it is called everydayevproductions.com where you can purchase your latest merchandise like this autopilot t-shirt that Brendan is wearing. We also have our latest videos from our YouTube feed. We also have a donation box just in case you wanna, you guys wanna help us with our future videos. And we are very, very excited to finally have this website up and live. Yep. And with the with our website, we'll include the link in the description below, as well as citations to show you guys the sources that we use to provide this information, as well as the website to uh, or the link to go to Recurrent's website, so you can sign up for their monthly battery data usage reports and get a good understanding of how your vehicle is holding up for you. Well, as always, please consider subscribing to Everyday EV. We appreciate the support. And like and share this video with your friends, specifically those who are questioning electric vehicles. And as always, take care, stay safe, and make every day electrifying. And we'll see you guys in the next one.